What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial to the question how to play some background music in loop. It's gonna be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we'll need is of course our music out of file. In this case, I have this one. Just simple music, okay, playing in a loop. Uh, now, first of all, let's open this up because we need to make sure that it will actually play in a loop. And the only thing that we have to do is go into the sound options here, go into looping and ticket. Now we can save and close. So now we'll make sure that it will be in a loop. Now there are two ways of doing this. The first way, and honestly the easiest way, is to literally just go ahead, get the uh, sound wave file, and just drag it into the scene. And now if I press play, the music will play. And it will be in a loop, and so on, okay? Uh, so as you can see, you have different properties that you can play around on here with the volume, so I could increase the volume. Uh, well, not the Yes, let's put to to not you know blow your eardrums. Now it's louder, or I could put it at point two. So now it's um is less, and uh, we could also do this inside the other file ins instead. Um, so you can play with that, okay, and and different settings. And right now it will not be in 3D, okay. This will be in 2D. So if I were to go, for example, into this part of the level, I literally just press play here, or, or for example here, um, it will still play with the same intensity never it, it doesn't really change um, if you want to play in 3d I do have it to turn on that um, but basically we'll have to create a sound attenuation okay uh, which I will link in the description um, okay so let me showcase the other way because uh, it really depends on what you want and let's say that for example you want to later on um, maybe you know stop the sound for whatever reason right the thing is that if it's in the scene it's not very handy so what you can do instead is go for example into any blueprint and this can be the third person cat blueprint so literally your player blueprint or even your level blueprint so really it doesn't really matter what you do uh, let's say for example the player character and let's say that at the begin play i just say spawn sound 2d then i can now go ahead and find my music and plug it here and basically it will start to play the sound and also did I delete it? Yes, I think I delete the sound. So again, I'll press play and the sound will start to play. It's basically the same as play sound to D, but the thing is that this will return an output, which will mean that, for example, we could do a delay. And let's say that two seconds later, this is just an example, I could go and fade out the song, well, the music, and for one second. So now you can see that it will play for two seconds and then it fades out and it stops so you can really play with that okay um and basically do what you want plus an advantage of this is that for example if you want to have the same music for different levels uh, you don't have to be worrying about that and being uh, need to place the audio file in the scene in each level if i were to go now and create a new level here for example and just press play the music will still play because it's in the cat blueprint so you get the idea so that's it guys if you found this so helpful i would really appreciate you the video and subscribe to the channel a lot of unreal engine fight tutorials so check them out profiles will be available in the patreon and uh youtube members so check it out join my server and now yes with all said bye bye Bye.